So, hi, this is Go Code. In this playlist, we will go through each and every problem which are on InterviewBit platform. If you don't know what is InterviewBit, so here it is. InterviewBit is a platform to learn skills that you need for technology jobs. They help you polish your skills and get ready for the job, whether you are a fresh graduate or a working professional. So, if you haven't checked out this awesome site, go check out. It's worth your time. So, in this first video of this playlist, we will see how to solve this problem named merge overlapping intervals. So, in this problem, we have given a collection of intervals and our task is to merge all overlapping intervals and return the shorted merged overlapping intervals. So let's see how we will do this. So here let us make timeline of this interval. So here first interval is noting this one three is this interval. Second interval is noting two to six. Third interval is noting 8 to 10. Fourth interval is denoting 15 to 18. So we can see that at one interval 1 to 3 and interval 2 to 6 is overlapping. So here in this according to, according to this problem what we need to do is we need to merge this merge this interval 1 2 3 and 2 to 6 so this 1 2 3 and 2 to 6 will become this interval 1 2 6 and the our and our answer will be 1 2 6 after merging one intervals 1 2 3 and 2 to 6 and 8 to 10 is already the in, already an independent interval 15 and 18 also is an independent already an independent interval so our answer will be 1 to 6 8 to 10 15 to 18 so let's understand this problem and corresponding solution by taking an another example Let, let's say we have given these intervals so our first step will be short these intervals according to their start time so after shorting what we will get is this 1 to 2 3 to 9 4 to 6 5 to 8 10 to 12 observe that these intervals are now shorted by their start time now let's take our first interval 1 2 and our second interval 3 9 now here at this point we have to see if this interval is overlapping with this interval. How we will check that these intervals are overlapping. So there is some there is an equation and you can dry run that equation over the on the intervals and check that this intervals is this equation is valid. This is our equation. If max of start one and start two is smaller than equals to min of end one and end two then we can say that the two intervals are overlapping so here in this in, in, the, in these intervals 1 2 and 3 9 we can clearly see that our start one is 1 start 2 is 2 and 1 is 3 and 2 is 9 and we can clearly see that our max of 1 comma 3 is smaller than equals to min of two comma nine. So our first and second interval, we can see that max of one comma three, which is three, 
and min of 2 comma 9 which is 2 is not equals not is smaller than equals to 2 so 3 is not smaller than equals to 2 so we can say that these two intervals are not overlapping these are already independent so our answer array will become 1 2 3 9 and our s variable will become 3 and e variable will become 9 now two intervals we are considering here is 3 9 and 4 6 now again we will check whether these two over two intervals are overlapping or not uh, so you can see that uh, max of start 1 and start 2 which is 3 and 4 is 4 and min of n1 and n2 which is 9 and 6 is 6 and we can clearly see that 4 is smaller than equals to 6 so which means that these two intervals are overlapping so in the case where the intervals are overlapping our s will be as it is 3 and n will get updated to the max of n1 comma n2 which is 6 comma 9 which will be 9 Power will be 3 comma 9 now our s will be 3 and e will be 9 and the interval which we will consider is 5 comma 8 So we will see if 3 comma 9 is overlapping with 5 comma 8 and we can see that it is overlapping 3 comma 9 is overlapping to 5 comma 8 so our another merged interval will be 3 comma 9 and 5 it will be removed now we will pick up next interval which is 10 comma 12 here we will again check if this interval 10 comma 12 is overlapping with this 3 comma 9 and we can clearly see that it is not overlap overlapping because 10 is not smaller than equals to 9 so we will write as it is 10 comma 12 so our answer will be 1 comma 2 3 comma 9 10 comma 12 so this will be our answer now let's go to the implementation part
If you like the video, give a thumbs up and subscribe our channel to never miss our upcoming videos. Thank you.